Hey Capricorn, welcome to the Sacred Sage. This is your weekly reading for the week of 17 December till the 22nd of December. And uh, wow, some amazing cards that have showed up in your reading today. Very excited to tell you about it. So let's just get straight to your reading. I do see justice over here, which uh, I have already told you that sun is moving signs. And not only that, Saturn is going invisible. So which means that all the lessons that you had to learn karmically are now getting over. So the last cycle when Saturn was in Sagittarius right from 2014 till now, all the struggles that you had in your life are slowly fading away. So week after week, as the days progress, you will see that all the stress and tensions and the roadblocks from your life with respect to Saturn's last cycle will start fading away. And that's why justice is here because justice is going to prevail. If you've learned your lessons right, then the path moving forward is definitely going to be a cakewalk. Not in totality, but specifically to that part of life that Saturn affected when Saturn had moved into Sagittarius as per the Western astrology. There's a lot of love and compatibility. So I think overall, whether it is uh, just between you and your companion or the energy of the entire family, you, your relationship with your spouse or your life partner and your relationship with your kids or close family members. I think there is a lot of peace over there, a lot of understanding, a lot of compatibility. And you also have great amount of strength that's coming to you, whether that is because of the sun or the Jupiter, irrespective. I think uh, some part of this journey of the last Saturn cycle had put you onto test where your strength, a Capricorn, was uh, being tested, right? One after the other, you were put into different difficult situations, obstacles coming your way, and it was just a constant test, right? And yeah, you've, you've sailed through all of that. And now is the time where you stand in your strength, look back and see, oh my God, I came through so much. Yeah, it was such a painful journey, right? But then you've passed all the tests and now you stand in your strengths to actually cherish and uh, take advantage of every bit of the opportunity that comes your way because with the new Jupiter shift, you will be blessed with a lot of money, a lot of opportunities. There will be a lot of reasons for you to celebrate in your life. We've got the Three of Cups, which totally is about celebration. So enjoy the moment and be in the loving company of your loved ones, your life partner, your companion. Uh, well, I do see an energy of two of swords and I think it is with respect to your finances. Uh, maybe there is something about money matters that you're confused about, whether it is juggling around with money or withdrawing money from one place to invest into another or um, maybe uh, routing money or profits from one business to another. I don't know, because this is a generic reading, so it may or may not resonate with you in totality. Uh, but whatever it is about money that you're trying to do, trying to bring in that balance, you're confused about that. You still don't know how to do it. I would say be patient. Let the sun shift. So towards the weekend, some part of this confusion will go away on its own and you will get some mental clarity. On a spiritual or overall life journey uh, part, I would say that, you know what, towards the end of the week, yes, there is a moment uh, or a few hours when you will feel disconnected from the world where you would probably want to leave all the good and the bad that you faced in life at to one side and you would want to reconnect with yourself because the hermit is showing up. So it's it's that moment where um, I'm not saying anything bad is going to happen because there's nothing bad in this reading. There is no tower. There is no uh, heartache, heartbreak. Um, I don't see any major issues in the way this week is shaping up for you. Uh, all that I'm trying to say is, yes, there is a moment, there is a trigger which makes you connect with your inner self. And that 
is happening because the universe wants you to speak and to connect with your inner self and to the creator energy so that you get the divine guidance. So there is something um, which is going to show up or clear up for you towards the end of this year or early part of January. But before you get closer to that reward that the universe has to gift you, you still need to connect with the hermit within you so that you're divinely guided to go and claim your prize. You're going to get rewarded, right? That I'm sure of. So do not stress at all. Spare that moment. Spend it with yourself. Try and connect with your own inner wisdom and God shall lead the way for you. Take care. <laughs>